Ball to flat. It's going to be intercepted over there by Carmichael to the 20. Down to the 10, to the 5. He'll take it into the end zone. Coordinator's dream, offensive coordinator, not the kind of game you want. Snap to Taylor, he'll look to throw again. Screen pass, Williams, he will score standing here at the near side. The tight end Smith is on the right. Miami coming with the all-out blitz. Tyrod Taylor fires a deep ball for Roberts on the run of the 20. He has it. Tyrod back to throw on second down once again. A pump fake. Gets everybody in the air in a deep ball. Right side. Standing pull on the 40. Has it. Right side by 30. Pull to the 20. 10. 5. What's the non-conference game that you're most excited about seeing? Boise State versus Virginia Tech, September 6th at FedEx Field. I cannot wait for this matchup. Both of these teams are going to be ranked very highly in the preseason polls. But this will be the first indicator of whether or not Boise State is worthy of being the first non-automatic qualifying team to play in the BCS National Championship. There's going to be a more polarizing team in college football than Boise State this year. You're talking about a team. Are they going to be the team? Are they going to be the Butler Bulldogs and say, enough's enough? We're not the little guy anymore. We're not the non-automatic qualifying. We'll go play Virginia Tech. You want to play in Landover, Maryland in the humidity across three time zones, giving a team three weeks to prepare for all of our multiple formations and everything we do? Fine. I don't care. We were 14-0 a year ago. We'll play at your place. Bold enough. I have a feeling I'm going to say this and get harassed <laughs> by, by this committee here. But I'm going to say Boise State is going to play for the national championship. I think they're going to get by Virginia Tech. They've proven they can play a physical, ugly game as they did in their bowl game last year against TCU. Yes, they travel across the country. I think they're going to start the season in the top five. You're going to beat Virginia Tech. You're going to be right in the top three in the thick of things. You go through an entire season and outside of Wyoming and at Nevada, I expect they're going to be more than double-digit favorites in all of those games. So I think Boise State. Are we are we accepting that? Wow. No, I think I'll accept that because I don't believe it. So I'm not I'll accept for a panel. We're accepting. We're talking about a tough game to start the season, uh, and and then having to run the table. I'm one that believes that that if you're not from the BCS conference, a BCS conference, you're not going to play for a national championship. So I'm sorry, boys. I, I don't see it. They're not going to get by Virginia Tech because it's a virtual home game for them to play at FedEx yeah. Field. There's no way that Frank Beamer's going to let them on that stadium. Well, well, then to, well, then to defend football. Brock, neither of you think that they're going to go undefeated, so then that would be, by definition, a And I think what's interesting finish. there, too, is all of a sudden, we talked last year about Ryan Williams and his resurgence at running back as a freshman. People forgot about Darren Evans, who his freshman year before that had an outstanding year running the football. They say 21 out of 22 coming back at Boise, and that this is the best Bronco team of One all. One of the best quarterbacks in the Very country. highly I going do, into the preseason. I, I personally don't. I have them 10th. I think Boise Street struggles in that game because Virginia Tech and the Hokie fans, they will not let them out of the state of Maryland with a victory.